What's up guys? Today I want to talk about aquarium driftwood floating and how the heck to fix it. I'm super stressed out right now. It's the weekend and I can't stop working on fish tanks. If you know how to fix this, let me know. If there's a hotline, like really, like am I going to die alone doing this? I don't know. Okay, so back to the video. Chris isn't crazy, I promise you. I have some aquarium driftwood and this is uh, people message me all the time with dealing with questions with aquarium driftwood. Uh, there's a handful of problems that people face when trying to use aquarium driftwood. Let's talk about them a little bit. All right, so let's talk pure basics. Aquarium driftwood. Here's a piece right here, some chola wood. Um, usually, the preparation for driftwood is to boil it. You could do like a bleach uh, preparation mixture solution, but most people just boil it for a handful of reasons. And that way it sinks, you're also killing bacteria, and you're getting rid of the tannins. I mean, people could argue all those variables, but so... It, here, here's the here's the bitter truth honesty of this just pure facts if your aquarium driftwood is small enough to fit inside a pot or pan to boil it you're golden this is going to be easy for you you're not going to have as many problems it's going to sink uh it's easy compared to the comparison of having a piece of driftwood that is too large to fit inside an aquarium or inside of a pot or pan to boil this is a six foot long aquarium and that piece of driftwood is probably five feet long. So what are you to do then? You know, like um, what you're going to want to do. I've done a video on this in the past. There's a couple different methods. As you can see, what I'm doing is using Tupperware's pinned up against the frame here or the trim per se, the, the frame trim. And that way it's forcing it underwater it's forcing the piece of wood underwater so that it sinks other people other methods are to tie it to a piece of rock a piece of slate um other people might soak it in their bathtub before they actually put it in their aquarium i don't really see the, the like the reasoning behind that because you're getting your you're getting your bathtub super dirty and also like why not just put it at the top of your tank like this because it's gonna be in there anyways this might look bad for a couple of days or a week or something but it's better than being in my bathtub um so what about the preparation of a big piece like this though you know some people might say to pour boiling water over it here this is funny this is my daughter's little play thing here so if we're to boil water and pour it over the piece of driftwood uh, that might help some, but that's all it's going to do is kill the external bacteria and parasites on the outside. What about the stuff on the inside? And again, guys, the reason it floats is because there's water trapped in inside the little cells of the wood and there's air inside of it, essentially. I think I said water. What I meant was air. So, um, basically what you got to just pin it underwater, the preparation tips, uh, preparation, uh, like I said, you're really stuck on this. You know, you could boil water, pour it over it. You could power wash it, but still you're only cleaning the outside of it. Um, you could do a bleach solution. I really disagree with using bleach on all my aquatic stuff, but that's my personal opinion. The bleach is really all you have. What I tell people when they message me is, uh, if you found this in the woods, uh, or a river per se, just try to make sure you got it from a spot where they did not spray insecticide or pesticide because that's pretty much my biggest concern. I don't really, you know, because that will immediately kill your fish. Um, but as far as the other like stuff, you know, it's not, God, this piece of wood is just beautiful. I actually, um, I picked it up off a person for 30 bucks cash and um, you know, they promised me it was, it wasn't around anywhere where they sprayed pesticides, insecticides. And, uh, I don't know. I think, I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, you know, obviously it's going to look a, look a lot cooler once it's at the bottom as well. So hopefully that helps guys. Uh, you may have the same issue I did with your driftwood floating. I talked about some of the preparation tips with bigger pieces. It's really easy. If your driftwood fits in a pot or pan and boils, that's easy peasy. You just move on with life. But if it doesn't, that's where things get difficult. And uh, maybe you, uh, like there's so many different preparation tips that I feel, you know, I my main go-to is to make sure that it wasn't around pesticide or insecticide spray. Other than that, I kind of just go with it. And um, a lot of people ask me that all the time. And uh, sometimes the bitter honesty, I might get trolled in these videos, 
But being honest on what I do after years of doing this kind of just, I feel like will help a lot of people. So let me know in the comment section if you're having similar issues with your aquarium driftwood floating and how you got it to sink. Uh, if you're worried about this, give this video a like if you thought this was helpful. Fish tanks, fish tanks, fish tanks.